Hi, huge movie fanatic Nate coming to you on a glorious spring day in Minnesota, somewhere in Minnesota. I'm coming to you from Lake. Wouldn't you like to know where the hell it is, mofo? That's actually not the name of the lake. This particular lake, uh, believe it or not, is so small and it's it's not named. If you so you wouldn't even be able to find it anyway if I told you if I told you it's not named that it's not named. So it's not named. Um, I have actually since like a couple, I think two years ago now, I, I, lamed, I named it. <laughs> I, I lamed it. If you hear the name, you'll, you'll understand why that Freudian slip happened. I actually named it myself after several, several weeks of deliberation. I have named this unnamed lake, which in all honesty is unnamed. And I named it, <clears throat> you ready? I'm sitting in Lake Nate currently. I've, I've named it myself. That's the name. It's something that I can easily remember and I don't have to, you know, think too hard to remember it. So I'm here, I'm coming to you from Lake Nate, somewhere in Minnesota, on a lovely, absolutely amazing uh, May, late May day in uh, 2014. Coming to, to review the motion picture, The Crater Lake Monster. This movie I very first heard about and first saw in 1993 when I acquired at Best Buy. A VHS, a very cheap uh, VHS tape, which is like I think $3.99 or $4.99 um, of it. And obviously, I'm like, oh, cool, this is cheap, it's right up my alley, Crater Lake Monster, this is awesome. So, I what did I say 93? I think I said 93. I'm pretty sure either 90, yeah, 93 or something like that. Very, you know, 92, or, I'm pretty sure it's like 93. I very first saw the Crater Lake Monster, which I believe I can't. I can't remember, the, the tape might have been an LP back in the day when <clears throat> cheap, no-name cheap tapes were in either EP or LP. That was such a pain in the ass. I love how people complain about the quality of DVDs now that Blu-rays are around. Those people piss me off because if they had grown up in the era of EP, like you could actually go to a store and buy, pay $10 for a VHS that was recorded in extended play, like you couldn't even necessarily get the tracking completely off the screen, the sound sucked. You know, these people who complain about DVD quality, I just want to tell them to take a flying leap off a gravel gas can, <laughs> or whatever the, whatever the, however the saying goes. I, I, I just want to go like this, and just like, give me a break. DVD is even, regardless of what the hell comes next in 4K and all this bullshit, DVD is so far superior to extended play VHS. I got off on a tangent. On to the review of The Crater Lake Monster, which I'm very happy to say in 2002 came out on DVD and by, uh, what the hell was the name of the outfit? Rhino. Rhino Video, I believe. Rhino Home Video. And I was very thrilled about that. And guess what? It has since come out on Blu-ray. It's a double feature with this, I don't know, the sexy girl in this stupid sci-fi movie. I don't know what the hell it's called. But uh, Mill Creek actually put out a double feature Blu-ray of the Crater Lake Monster, which Mill Creek sucks. But amazing, amazingly, this DVD and the transfer of Crater Lake Monster is unbelievable. And it's actually the full 185 ratio, which having, you know, grown up with just the cropped version, a lot of times when something's 185, it's cropped top to bottom to, to make it 185. So if you're seeing a full frame version, you're actually seeing more of the top and the bottom. But Crater Lake Monster was actually, you know, the Blu-ray, you're actually seeing more on the sides than you ever did in any full frame thing. So I would highly recommend, it's probably, I mean, it's ridiculously cheap, the, uh, the double feature uh, Blu-ray for the Crater Lake Monster and whatever else, the sexy woman with a nice ass sci-fi movie, whatever, by uh, put out by Mill Creek Entertainment, I believe. Crater Lake, I believe, was made, I actually have a lobby card I got off eBay for uh, the Crater Lake Monster. I believe it was made in 1970-something, 76, 77, 78, something along those lines. And uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it, it features, um, <clears throat> I saw something in the screen, but it's actually just like the running time of the thing. I thought it was like a, yeah. <laughs> so, it, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it features something that is, is heavily featured in movies of that era, which is a character which is only regarded as, which is referred to as Doc. Doc, Doc, you won't believe what I just discovered. Hmm. Sit down. I can't. Susan's waiting for us. 
What's this all about, anyway? No time to explain. Come on, Doc. You've got to see this. I wish you'd start making your discoveries in the daytime for a change. And what's so funny about this movie is it's 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 got this the sheriff guy who, don't quote me. No, I haven't seen this movie for a while. Ever since, probably not since the Blu-ray came out. <clears throat> and I think this guy who plays the sheriff is actually one of the writers, if not the only writer, one of the writers or something like that. And. The thing about Crater Lake Monster that I really love is, that, like I say, it's the late 70s. It's probably 77, 78, something like that. And it, it has that amazing, and obviously it's low, it's not as low budget as Blood Lake by any means, but it's, it's low budget. And it has this amazing non-studio uh, feel, um, independent, no budget, although it does have some pretty impressive stop motion effects by the late great. Dave Allen, who would go on to do stuff like uh, Young Sherlock Holmes, um, which he either was a nominated for or won Academy Award, which of course doesn't mean anything in my book, but, um, and obviously Puppet Masters and Full Moon stuff. So Dave Allen did some relatively cool King Kong ish uh, stop motion effects for the Crater Lake Monster, which monster, which features the monster is basically lock, basically what would people would know to be uh, the Loch Ness Monster is you know <clears throat> with the you know like the brontosaurus thing with the flippers kind of thing so there's some pretty competent stop motion effects in, in this movie but other than that it, it features these two characters which i absolutely absolutely love they're like these two guys unfortunately you know I, you think i'd remember their names i can't even remember their names uh one guy who's like got this beard and this other guy who's like they're bunt they're just like they're, they're friends who like own this boat rental place and they're like they're really poor and this guy's got so many holes in his shoes he's got to put newspaper in his shoes so much so that his feet know more about what's going on than his head there's some great lame ass uh tom foolery in this movie uh, again, I would say that I don't think this is even rated R. I think this is rated PG, of course, before the rating, PG-13 rating even existed. And this isn't a movie you're going to find a lot of gore or anything like that. This movie is uh, a movie, if you like lake environments, which of course I do, uh, is features some just obviously beautiful lake footage and boat footage and there's this great scene right at the beginning of the movie where this cop was probably the, like the writer, or one of the writers, or the, one of the bigger writers of this movie who uh, gets out on his pontoon and he's like adjusting his hat and stuff and then the, the music rolls and it's just like this montage of I wanna you can tell that that's like probably like his pontoon and he wants to show it off in the movie and it, it's just so lame in this music and I don't know You, you got this guy who looks exactly like Steve McQueen, uh, <clears throat> who's like Steve McQueen's, you know, a strange brother or something like that, and this relatively attractive woman who are like scientists or whatever, trying to, you know, this the the effect for this. I can't believe they couldn't do a better effect. It's like a for this this meteor. The whole story is this meteor comes down at the beginning of the movie, which is like a, a marshmallow that's on fire and just goes, shoo, and it lands in a lake and basically ends up over time. Time passes in this movie at the very beginning, but you don't, they don't tell you it does. You're just supposed to assume it. This this meteor crashes in Crater Lake, warms, lands right next to a this dinosaur egg, and it warms up the egg over a period of <clears throat> maybe months or something, or weeks or months, and then that's when, you know, the monster comes out and starts <clears throat> devouring campers and, and people who rent. Oh, one of the guys' boat renter plate guy's name is Arnie and it might be ah shit maybe Mitch and Arnie or something like that <clears throat> there's this scene where the cop balls him out he's like look at me when I'm talking to you I don't I don't know it, it's just so it's Mitch I believe it's Mitch and Arnie who own this this boat rental place and 
<clears throat> obviously, since everyone's dying, I, I, I don't know. You know, it's a haphazard, what the hell kind of a script kind of a situation. But I absolutely adore this movie, and I, I'm, I'm so ecstatic. I have to watch it again. I only watched the Blu-ray once. i got to watch it again. I'm so grateful and, and happy about... You, you never think that, like, Crater Lake Monster would ever come out on Blu-ray, but uh, Mill Creek did a fantastic job with the, with the transfer in the Blu-ray of, of Crater Lake Monster. It features, it's basically just, you know, a bunch of whatever. I absolutely adore these kind of movies from the, the late 70s. I can't say really enough about Crater Lake Monster. The, the, I'd say the, the, the biggest characters, of course, are the cop, Doc, uh, the, the ra rather attractive woman in the Steve McQueen, uh, <laughs> Steve McQueen wannabe guy. And then, of course, I think Mitch and Arnie are like the two uh, biggest biggest characters that are featured in this movie and you got this one woman who works at the diner who's <clears throat> got some sweater puppies in the scene and it's like tonight's tonight I can feel it I'm gonna ask Dora to dance ah oh, she sure is pretty Arnie most beautiful woman I ever saw <laughs> I see you got your dancing shoes on I've seen this a lot of times, and I, I have a lot of it memorized. And later on in the movie, I'd say like, I don't know, the, the the last third or something like that of the movie, you you have this absolutely. I love this in movies. <clears throat> this absolutely random thing where all of a sudden we cut to this 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 criminal who's living in this one room room, <laughs> one room room. <laughs> he's living in this one room room, who's like realized on camera that he's out of alcohol, so he grabs his gun. This guy's real shady looking. He he. He comes across as a guy who would be a stuntman in movies to me. He, he's, he, I don't know, he just comes across as a stuntman to me. Like, he's just, maybe he's a stuntman for this movie, or he's a stuntman, and then like, here, this guy fits a good part of a criminal. So you see him briefly go out, and it's so funny, this movie's so hilarious. You go out, he goes to a liquor store, and he picks a bottle of liquor or whatever to the culinary, and he's like points a gun right at him, he's like, hey, come on, it's the third time this week, can't you guys get a nice fat bank? And he basically shoots, some woman comes in right there, he shoots her, he shoots the clerk, kills two people for a bottle of booze, it's not funny, but it also didn't happen for real in the movie, it's fake, uh, so I can laugh at it. So anyway, this is just absolutely, I guess it's probably just filler stuff that they thought that maybe shot later on it's just like so anyway then, then i think we go go away from him and we end up back with him oh the the cop in the movie the one with the pontoon who drives and adjusts his hat he uh he later on comes across the car at the diner where dora works is that dora is it dora i'm gonna ask dora yeah i think it's dora i'm gonna ask dora to dance uh <clears throat> The, that, the, the criminal ends up parking there at that diner where the cop frequents, along with Mitch and Arnie. I think it's Mitch. <clears throat> and the cop ends up, you know, IDing the guy. There's a chase. The cop chases him with the chases him in cars to Crater Lake. The guy, they have this piece of shit car that they do, which is something me and my friends always wanted to do when we were teenagers. We wanted to have this shitty car that we could just crash up in a movie, like our, you know, shot on video, no budget movies. So it's kind of like just chase scene with this crappy old car, then they just throw the car over the cliff, and it's like, goes off sideways, and it's just a, uh, shit. They actually had two cameras to cover the car going over the really big cliff and crashing on the rocks, and of course they lit it on fire, and it's burning. Then there's a chase on foot. Uh, the cop chases them to the, the bad guy to the, I'm really <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to see it. You don't even have to watch it. I'm really going on and on. But the cop chases the, the criminal to Crater Lake and Lakeshore. Crater Lake monster gets him. The end. I'm going to go three stars for Crater Lake monster. It's not a three star movie. But it's, it's very competent in the sense that I guess the most competent stuff is probably just the stop motion animation stuff. Then they have like an actual full-size floaty crater lake monster head that you see floating but the the, the kills <clears throat> are really lame and the characters are some of the characters like some of the, this guy who runs this fishing boat some of these people look are right out of don't go in the woods these characters who are just like people don't dress like that but maybe they did i don't know uh they can dress however they want it, it was a free country formally um so so thank you i think that's pretty much it crater lake monster is a hoot 
possibly it's on YouTube. I would imagine maybe it is, hopefully. You could probably, if nothing else, you can probably see a trailer, which maybe I'll put on this video. I don't know. But um, I guess that's pretty much it. Crater Lake Monster. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, let's hope there's not a Lake Nate monster in Lake Nate. Um, <clears throat> I guess maybe I'm the Lake Nate monster. Also named, that's why they named, that's why <laughs> I named this lake Nate, because I, the, the lake, lake, I'm really getting confused. I'm the Lake Nate monster who frequents Lake Nate. I have to go find something to eat, so we'll see you next time. Yeah. <sighs>